and this is why I don't talk to them. I tend to keep my distance away from Hebrew Israelites, not because of anything that they say that's difficult to overcome, but it's just hard to talk to someone who either is incapable of listening and learning or refuses to. And I'm going to show you a clip. This is a perfect example why it's just talking to them makes no sense. They've made up their mind and they're not going to listen. And now for some of them, and I'm not trying to be ugly, but many of them just don't have the capacity, the ability to comprehend just basic comprehension. Or if that's not it, then the alternative is they don't want to. It is, that means they're being deceptive. They are intentionally twisting the scriptures for their own benefit. And so let's just listen to this. I saw this. Someone sent me this and this is this is them in a nutshell. Yeah, I keep the law perfectly. So, do it. You just broke you the law, bro. Reread that, Re -re that from the top. Now, what he's talking about, he says they, they keep the law perfectly. I want to read the, well, you know what? I'm not going to read the passage. We'll read the passage afterwards. They're going to read the passage. And I want you to hear, even when they read the passage, listen to how he hears it. He twists it. And even one of his other fellow pajama soldiers and the whatever, that particular person is like, I think you got it wrong. But to him that worketh not. Hold on. So it said that him that worketh not. <laughs> to, to him that worketh hold on, hold on, not. Hold on, brother, brother. We got to slow down. Please read it to me slow. I might be remedial right now. Yes, you are remedial. Without question. There's no please slow it down. You might be remedial. You are remedial. Without please read it to me slow. I might be remedial right now, right? But so to him. Hold on, hold on. Read it from the matter of fact. We're gonna read it. See, now. like, can we just keep it real? No, then read it. I mean, you don't know nothing. Go ahead. The Romans chapter four, verse five. Uh -huh. but to him that worketh not. It say what? But to him that, that worketh not. not. Keep going. But believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. Uh -huh. His faith is counted for righteousness. So if you don't do no work, your faith is counted for unrighteousness. Bruh. That's what, what? what it said. It, it said this. It said counted for righteousness. Look, look, look. Yeah. Uh -huh. His faith is counted for righteousness. So if you don't do no work, your faith is counted for unrighteousness. Bruh. That's what it what? said. It, it, said it said counted for righteousness. Look, 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 look. Read it, read it again. Bro, but I don't know nothing, right? Oh, Believe in Jesus Christ, not you yourself, bro. I do, because he justifies the ungodly. But you think you're godly. That's going to cause you to burn, bro. That'll cause you to burn. You're taking the glory away from Jesus and putting it on yourself. Yeah, so this is it's, it's funny. It really is funny. It's sad, too. And you should make fun of people who just mentally aren't there. Let's read the passage. This is Romans 4. Let's start in verse 4. Now to the one who works... His wage is not credited as favor, but as what is due. But the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited as righteousness. So believing is how you have righteousness credited to you. He says, though, uh, it's, it'll be as unrighteousness. Now, it, let's just play it again. I'll go ahead and skip to that point again or, or move it backwards. His faith is counted for righteousness. So if you don't do no work, your faith is counted for unrighteousness. Bruh. That's what it what? Is said. It <laughs> just, again, this is why you don't listen to them. You can if you want to. Spend your time. I would much rather talk to the back end of my dog. I would get much better results doing that than talking to one of them. It just is what it is. 